What's going on guys? It is time. The Bronco is officially about to start underway for the restoration once again. Um, my girlfriend Bailey got me a cow hood I'm going to weld on there. And so today, while it's starting to get nice, I'm going to pull the hood off. Me and my dad are going to pull it off. I'm going to start getting the cow on there. I figure that's one thing I can do without the whole truck being in there. It's still occupied by my parents and my dad's Bronco. So I'm going to get the hood in there on a stand and start plucking away at it until it's nice enough to pull the Bronco in. So let's get that hood off. so weird. Well guys, we got the hood mocked up. Got a fine line on the hood where it's gotta be. And we got it marked where we're gonna cut it. And get it off, get it on a stand and start chopping away. straight across we got a piece of cardboard and trace the back of it got some curvature to it to match the cowl and instead of cutting it straight across we made that curve the same as a hood so it looks like it's meant for it so just a little extra detail in there looks good there's a big ball drag here for the body line on the hood and you'll see here it's a lot finer here but it won't it won't sit flush we're gonna make this notch right here so it sits nice and flush whenever we go to weld it to the hood so let's make that notch real quick so i just got that front body line notch cut out so it sits nice and flush against the hood next thing i gotta do is get the drill with the wire wheel on it make a nice bare metal strip along the out outskirts and start welding on Well, got all the paint stripped for the scoop. As you can see, we're not cutting it out. This is not gonna be a functioning scoop. This is all just gonna be mainly for looks. So there's no need to cut. So I literally just made 
the outline of bare metal and get about to start tacking it on. Before we go ahead and weld this on here, I got some weld through primer I'll put down because I'm going to be welding on the outskirts. On the inside, it's still going to be bare metal. It's going to be enclosed, nothing can get to it, but still to protect it from rusting and corroding over time, I'm going to put this down for welding it. So, let's start spraying it off. Well, it's on the hood. Got a rough, uh, rough tack going all the way around, keeping in place. And now I'm gonna start going all the way around. I'm gonna bounce from one side to the other, just going back and forth, so the heat is uh, separated, so I'm not heating one spot up too much. So we're all ready to rock and roll. So let's get to it. So the welding's all done for the most part around the whole edge. Um, I'm gonna knock it all down with the grinder, make it nice and smooth, see if there's any more spots I gotta weld before I start on this backing plate here. So I'm gonna start grinding away and make it all nice and smooth. Wait a little second because it's a little windy. <laughs> I'm like a dang nader out there. Alright guys, so we got all the welding done on the outside. Everything's nice and smooth, ground down. The last thing we gotta do for welding is fill in this back plate. Don't want any water or anything getting back up in there. So my dad took it upon himself to cut this piece of metal out of some scrap. And it's gonna fit right in there just like that. Keep anything from getting back up in there. So that's the last bit of welding we have to do after we weld that in there. I'll grind it all down. We're for some body filler. So let's get to it. So guys, here's the finished product. The welding and grinding is officially complete. Just finish up this backing plate back here to protect anything from getting back in there. It's nice and smooth, got everything welded and ground down on there. Getting ready to do the body work. 
body work portion of it. I'm getting ready to do some sanding around around the whole cow for some fiberglass filler. Um, that's gonna be a part two. This is the ending of this video just because I don't want a half hour long video from the welding, the grinding, the filler, and priming. So this is part one of part two. If you guys want to see part two, stay tuned and thanks for watching.